Because arteries and veins often travel closely together, it's really hard to know what you are hitting without ultrasound. Knowing the difference between an artery and vein is essential for using ultrasound to guide central venous line placement. Ideally, the artery is not the target for central lines, but can be used for arterial lines. There are anatomic variants that can throw off your landmarks, and unlike this cartoon, arteries are not always red and veins are not always blue on ultrasound. After this lesson, you'll be able to tell the key differences between an artery and a vein. So, how can I tell the difference? First, let's talk about how an artery and a vein are similar. They're both anechoic structures. They're contained with smooth edges, but gosh, it's hard to tell just by looking which is an artery and which is a vein. One clue is looking at their shape. An artery is typically more round, while a vein is usually more oval. Here you can see the relative shape of a round artery and an oval vein in transverse. Another way to tell artery from vein is looking at their wall thickness. The artery is fairly thick, with different layers in their wall, including muscle. The vein has a very thin wall. Here you can see just the thickness of the wall of the artery compared to the vein. Sometimes you can see valves within the vein, and that's what we're seeing right here. Take a look, you see something flopping within that vessel. That is a valve within the vein. Another way to tell the difference between an artery and a vein is to see if it's compressible. Here you can see the operator attempting to compress these two vessels. An artery will not compress completely with pressure. It may compress slightly, but not fully. A vein should completely compress unless there is a thrombus or other pathology present. Another way to tell the difference between artery and vein is seeing if it's pulsatile or not. An artery should have a pulse with it, whereas a vein should not necessarily be pulsatile. Here you can see a picture of the inferior vena cava and the aorta. We know the IVC is a vein and it shouldn't have a pulse associated with it, but here it appears even more pulsatile than the aorta. This is because it is picking up the strong pulsations from the aorta and since their walls are thin and compliant, the IVC and other veins can sometimes look pulsatile just by being close to an artery. Another way to tell the difference between artery and vein is to look at the direction of flow. Doppler can be used to measure direction and velocity of flow in a vessel. It is dependent on the angle that your probe is hitting the skin. The ideal angle of the ultrasound beam hitting the blood flow is at about 60 degrees or there will be inaccurate information about the flow you are examining. Also, you should always point the probe more proximal. Here you see two vessels, but both are red on Doppler. How can that be? If the probe is placed appropriately, the flow seen moving towards the transducer is red, while the flow moving away from the transducer is blue. The operator capturing the picture on the right was not following the convention of angling the probe more proximally, therefore this vein looks as if blood within it is flowing towards the probe. With the probe placed appropriately, the flow in an artery appears pulsatile with relative higher amplitude, which means higher velocity on this scale on the left. The flow in the vein is more smoldering and undulating with lower velocity. Not only is venous velocity lower than that in arterial tracings, here you can see another typical Doppler signature for veins, phasicity. This is the undulating tracing that relates to the changes in intrathoracic pressure. This occurs with normal breathing. This is typically seen in larger veins such as the internal jugular vein, which is shown here. There are many ways to tell the difference between arteries and veins, not just their shape, their wall thickness, if they're compressible, but also the presence of a pulse and the direction and speed of their flow. Let's put it all together. Which is an artery and which is a vein? What do you think? Aha, the one on the right compresses and the one on the left looks round and has a thicker wall. You're right, this is the artery and this is the vein. Super, now you're an expert on telling the difference between an artery and a vein on ultrasound.